Yo, this is the Fight Block. Strike Force Diaz versus Daily is live April 9th. There'll be four broadcasted fights on Showtime. It's a stack card. These are my predictions. In the first fight on the card, dangerous submission artist and currently Dreams lightweight champion Shinya Aoki takes on Kyle Beerbaum. Both fighters are coming off losses. Although Aoki's last fight wasn't technically a MMA loss, he was fought in a special rules fight at Dream Dynamite 2010 where he suffered a knockout loss to um, a surprising knockout loss to Yoshi Yoshiro Nagashima. Uh, the special rules was the first round was strictly K1. Nagashima was a, a dangerous kickboxer. Aoki was able to get uh, survive the first round, although it was pretty much a joke. He just laid on the ground, went for drop kicks, and it was it was it was a bizarre fight. But second round was martial arts. Aoki shot in for a takedown and then just ate a knee, knocked out cold. So Aoki's coming off a knockout loss. Lyle Beerbaum, he was undefeated up until his last fight. He's now 16 and 1. He suffered a decision loss at the last Strike Force Challengers event to Pat Healy. Uh, the fight actually was the main event and it was it was an absolute grappling fest. Like three rounds, barely any striking, all grappling, reversals, and it's actually a fight of the year candidate in my opinion. Uh, it was just an awesome fight, but really didn't get to see a whole lot of Beer bomb striking, which is where he's going to win this fight against Aoki. He's not going to out grapple or uh, submit Aoki. Um, Aoki has proven that he's just absolutely dangerous when it comes to submissions and he has no restraint. He will grab an arm and he will break it. My prediction for this fight is Shinya Aoki by submission. I think Beer Bomb, he needs to use the game plan to utilize his wrestling to keep this fight standing and avoid any sort of ground or grappling with Aoki. However, I just see Beer Bomb making a mistake and getting caught by a submission. So I'm taking Shinya Aoki by submission round two. The second fight on the card is a light heavyweight number one contendership fight between Gegard Mousasi and Mike Kyle. The winner will get a shot at Dan Henderson for the championship. This is going to be an awesome fight. Mike Kyle is coming off an impressive TKO loss to Antonio Bigfoot Silva. He took that fight on short notice and moved up a weight class. He was drastically outsized by Silva. However, he was able to actually knock Silva down. I believe he had Silva mounted at one point. He was pounding on him. He just he couldn't finish. I think he punched himself out in that fight, and Silva's size just ended up being too much. Uh, Silva was able to TKO him. I believe uh, Kyle has won his last five or six fights in the light heavyweight division after dropping down from heavyweight. Gegard Mousasi, he was the former light heavyweight champion for Strike Force. Since losing that title to King Mo Lawal, he's won his last two fights by submission. I'm going to give the power striking advantage to Mike Kyle. I think punch for punch, he's a little bit more dangerous than Mousasi. However, I've seen this fight going into the later rounds and Mousasi's technical striking wearing Kyle down. Kyle's conditioning is going to be a little bit questionable as the fight goes on. Uh, he throws a lot of power punches and... As we saw in the Bigfoot Silva fight, it looked like he punched himself out in the first round. Musasi, he's got a good chin. Overall, I think Musasi is just a more well-rounded fighter. I'm taking Gegard Musasi by submission round three. Mike Kyle has been known to leave himself vulnerable to chokes and arm bars. So I'm taking Gegard Musasi by submission. The co-main event of the evening, Gilbert El Nino Melendez defends his strike force lightweight title against Tatsuya Crusher Kawajiri. I'm most looking forward to this fight. It's a rematch from their 2006 Pride fight. It was a fight of the year candidate for sure. Uh, both guys brawled to a decision. Gilbert Melendez barely eked it out. Since then, both guys have improved immensely. This fight is going to be, I think, fight of the night. Gilbert Melendez, he's coming off of an impressive victory over Shinya Aoki. He was able to control the fight. Oich Aoki's submissions. Kawajiri, he's coming off of an impressive victory over Josh Thompson where he pretty much out-wrestled and out-grappled Josh Thompson. That fight was at Dream two, uh, Dynamite 2010. My prediction for this fight, I see the wrestling and the grappling for the most part canceling out and we'll see most of this fight take place on the feet. I would, however, give a slight wrestling advantage to Gilbert Melendez. I think if he is taken down by Kawajiri, he'd be able to get right back up and then he also has the ability to take Kawajiri down if he finds himself in trouble on the feet. However, I give the striking advantage to Gilbert Melendez. I think his boxing is a little bit more technical. Kawajiri does sometimes throw some wild punches and leaves himself open. I'm picking Gilbert Melendez by unanimous decision. I think his striking has improved more than Kawajiri since their last fight. 
and I see most of the fight taking place on the feet, so I give the edge to Gilbert Melendez. It's going to be a close competitive fight. I'm really looking forward to it, but Melendez is going to pull out a, de a decision win. The main event of the evening, Nick Diaz defends his Strike Force welterweight title against Paul Daly. It's a matchup between two high quality boxers, but both guys have completely different styles. Paul Daly, he's a technical boxer. He's got the one punch knockout power. Diaz, on the other hand, he doesn't so much have that power punch, but he keeps on constant pressure, utilizes his reach, and just wears his opponents down. Paul Daly has won his last four fights in a row since being released by the UFC, including knockout victories in his last two fights. Nick Diaz, he's won his last nine fights in a row. He was tested in his last title defense against Evangelista Cyborg Santos. Santos was leg kicking him, pretty much controlling the stand-up, but gassed in the second round and ended up taking uh, uh, Diaz down and then got submitted. Diaz, he doesn't have to worry about leg kicks from Daly, so that looked like it could potentially in the future be a weakness for Diaz, is uh, leaving his front leg exposed and leaving that open for leg kicks. Paul Daly, he's been talking a lot of smack, saying Nick Diaz is afraid to stand and box with him. This might actually be a smart move for Daly because Diaz is the type of person that will take those comments to heart and try and prove a point. And you don't want to stand and trade with Daly. He's proven he's one of the most dangerous stand-up fighters in mixed martial arts. His boxing is, is scary. He's got knockout power, like I said. And this could really actually play to Daly's advantage if Diaz does indeed come in and try and box with him. Diaz has shown in his past couple fights that he doesn't really come out with a game plan. He just sort of goes where the fight takes him. He starts out on the feet, tries to outbox his opponent, outstrike him. We saw this in the Noons fight. He was perfectly fine with standing and trading with him. In his last defense against Evangelista, the fight didn't go to the ground until Evangelista went for the takedown. Even though Diaz has had the jiu-jitsu advantage in a lot of his past fights, he really doesn't utilize that. So I don't see this fight being any different, and I really think this is going to be to Diaz's disadvantage to come in and stand with Paul Daly. My prediction for this fight, I'm taking Paul Daly with the upset. A smart Nick Diaz will wrestle this fight to the ground and submit Daly, but I think his Diaz's ego will get the best of him. He'll come out, he'll try and box with Daly, and that's just going to be a big mistake. I think Daly's power is going to be too much for Diaz. He's going to catch him. I'm taking Paul Daly by TKO round two. This is the fight block. Those are my strike force predictions. It's going to be an awesome night of fights. The card is stacked. I'm really looking forward to it. Check out the Twitter. Check out the blog. Subscribe. Thanks for listening. Peace.